Do you know what is Pro Hop, and why it is so efficient? The best NBA players use it, but if you want to look for someone doing it consistently, that is Derek Rose, as he is able this way to cover a lot of space on the jump. Let's take a deeper look at what is it, and all the details behind, it so you can practice it, and make it part of your arsenal. Coming in a bit. Hello and welcome to our channel, we are Mihai Dumitrescu, IPT Certified Skill Enhancement Trainer, Highest Level Professional Team Coach, and Peter Peric First Tier International Professional Player in Croatia, Germany, and Slovakia. We don't know who invented this set of footwork, or where its name comes from, but we know that as soon as you'll master it, you will love it, and you'll see its true potential as an amazing addition to your game tools. The main advantage when you use this move is that you can cover a lot of space by jumping where you see an open spot, so somehow, you'll exploit any uncovered inch on the floor. However, you should keep in mind that as long as you decided to do it, and you've picked up the ball, you don't have any more options. That's why the pro hop is a commitment to score, or in case the help defense tries to close out, to pass. I mentioned in almost any video we've made about any kind of stop technique, and I will say it again. The dribbling timing is the most important aspect of skills acquisition, and here is crucial. So, dribble the ball when you step with the opposite leg, what we call a dribble step, and let the ball float, when you step with the leg underneath the ball, which we call motion step. I know I tend to repeat those too much, but they are too important. Now, after the last dribble, the ball will be picked up, and it will follow a jump, in whatever direction you see the open space. Clearly, the length of your hop depends on where you want to land, but it might depend also on how athletic you are. Maybe that is why, it is a move mostly used in the NBA, rather than in Europe, as those players are first of all ultimate athletes. This should not discourage you, as doing it, along with all the other techniques that we show you on this channel, will make you develop a lot of dynamic balance, flexibility, and agility, so in the end, you will build up athleticism. Getting back, one important detail is you'll need to focus on landing on both feet at the same time. Otherwise, you will be called for traveling, as the ball is picked up when you jump, so there cannot be extra steps or pivots after the landing. That is why I've said earlier it is a commitment. Once you've decided to go for it, there is no turning back, or, in our world, there are no other options to use. During the game, if you start your penetration from the three-point line, and you have a first explosive step with a strong pound dribble, you can jump long enough and manipulate the space around the rim so good, that you'll be all ready for an easy layup. From the short corner, when you face the basket, you'll need a short step to get into your pro hop and to land underneath the rim. Go on and try it, and I'm sure that after you'll manage it, you'll understand its true value. Useless to say, that you might want to go both ways, right and left, and the way you finish, where the landing angle should be your decision based on your imagination. Hope you've enjoyed our clip, and if you did, please give us a thumb up, check also those videos too, and if you haven't done it yet, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell, so you'll not lose anything.